Real quickly, boys, just before we get into the actual glitch, I just wanted to say that every time I post a glitch, there's always going to be people who say that the glitch doesn't work or it's been patched or this or that or the other. This glitch has been out since December. I've posted it a bunch of times and I've had hundreds of comments saying it's patched. It is still not patched. So make sure you check the pinned comment on this video as I will update it if that changes. If this glitch does get patched, I'll be sure to update it and let you guys know. So, yeah, just don't pay attention to people in the comments that are saying it's patched. Check the pinned comment, and if that hasn't been updated, then it's still working. And while you're here, make sure you go down, you drop a like on the video for me, especially if it helps you out, and you hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, on to the glitch. Boys, welcome back to another video, and today I am covering the glitch that I have covered literally about four or five times on the channel now. And there's a reason I'm doing this. Basically, I know Icon Swaps is dropping at some point, and I just want to have this video out there to avoid getting a million questions about Dan, is there a squad battles glitch? Dan, which one's working? Dan, 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 Dan. So I'm just making this just to let everyone know there's still a glitch, it still works, and yeah, this is it. So as you saw there, I went into this game on world class. Very important because the only difficulty this glitch works on is world class. I don't know exactly why that is. You would think it would work on lower difficulties as well, but it doesn't. I assume it's something to do with how aggressive the AI are on world class. So we're about to get into the glitch here and it's going to happen really quick. I'm going to try my best to explain it. I'll explain it a couple of times just so you get it. So what you want to try and do is get onto the edge of your opponent's D, which is that little semicircle on the edge of the box. Then when you get there, Hold LT slash L2, depending on Xbox or PlayStation. Turn your back to goal, like you can see I have now. Then walk forward slightly, so you can walk slightly out the, the little D on the edge of the box. Then let go of LT. And if you've done it correctly, the opponent player should just keep repeatedly running into your player's back. Exactly like you're seeing now. Very, very simple stuff. Let me explain it again. So you approach the opponent's D, again, the little semicircle on the edge of the opponent's box. You're holding LT the entire time. Then turn with your back to goal while still holding LT. Walk forward, so back towards your own goal ever so slightly, and then let go of LT. And again, if done correctly, this guy will keep just running into your player's back and you will not have to touch anything for the rest of the half like I didn't here. Now, there are a bunch of things that go into this as well. It's not as simple as it sounds. First off, like I mentioned, you have to be on world class. Don't know why, doesn't work on any other difficulties. Secondly, I've had people tell me that they've got this thing to work on other parts of the pitch. Now, I can't vouch for that really because I just can't seem to get it to work anywhere. Like, other than on the edge of the box and close to the edge of the box, it's not an exact science. But somewhere around that area is where I personally always have the best luck doing it. But apparently for some other people, they get it there to work near the halfway line or down the wing. Perfectly fine as well. So you can try a bunch of things and just find out what works best for you. Then it works better with a taller, stronger player. I mean, that's common sense. If you're using, let's say, Lionel Messi, it's obviously easier for the AI player to get past him and kind of nick the ball. Whereas if you're using, I don't know, Giroud it's a lot easier for him to shield the ball. And for some reason, dribbling seems to make a difference as well. Not just taller and stronger, but if you use someone with higher dribbling, like I'm using Man Lamachi and Nacho here, and this guy just can't seem to get the ball back. Then it works at any scoreline. In this video, I only show it at nil-nil, but if you go back and watch the previous time I covered this, I show it when I'm winning as well. So I've heard people say it only works when you're drawing or losing. Absolutely not the case. That is just false. Works at any scoreline promise you. And then this one is probably the most important one. This glitch will not work depending on the custom tactics. Like I mentioned before about it only working on world class, I believe that's probably something to do with how aggressive the AI are. Now, if the, the person's team you're playing has got their custom tactics to set up to be aggressive, because if you don't know, custom tactics carry over into squad battles as well. So if they set their team up to be aggressive and try and win the ball back, then you simply will not be able to do the glitch. Even if you do everything right and you do it on world class, if they've got their team set up aggressively, you will not be able to do it against that team. So if you're watching this and you're trying it against the team and you can't get it to work and you're thinking to yourself, I'm doing everything right, 
but they keep tackling me, then it might simply just be because that team is set up aggressively and you will not be able to do it against that team no matter what. So just bear that in mind. Some teams it simply will not work against and there's not much you can do about it other than quit the game or finish the game and then try again and keep trying until you find a team that it works against. If you've looked for these low chem, you know, low chem, low rating, obviously just thrown together squads, they usually don't have any custom tactics, so you should be fine against those. And finally, it works on all platforms. This is another comment I get. This is on the Xbox One version of FIFA, but I, I, I have next gen. I've got the Xbox Series X as well. It works perfectly fine on that version. And the PlayStation builds of the game are exactly the same as the Xbox builds of the game. So I know it works on there as well. PC is the only one that I can't vouch for, where I say I can't say for definite it works. But as of right now, I believe the PC build and the 360, 360, Xbox One and PS4 builds are exactly the same. So you shouldn't have any problems on PC either. But if, if I'm wrong about that, let me know down below. As for all the consoles, 100% works. Anyway, boys. That is going to do it from me. Thank you so, so much for watching the video. I know I usually speed up the gameplay and show you the game finishing, but I don't know. I just wanted to show you a different way this time since I've covered the glitch about 35 times now. Uh, if you've got any questions, feel free to let me know down below. And if you do get the glitch to work for you, if you could just leave a comment saying that it worked, that would be amazing. As usually when it works for people, they just leave and don't say anything. And the only people that say something is the people that couldn't get it to work. So if you could, if you get it to work, if you could leave a comment, that would be awesome. And uh, yeah, like I say, thank you so, so much for watching, boys. Remember to drop a like, hit subscribe, and go and get those icon swaps done. Cheers, boys.